Assalamu alaikum. Good morning. How are you today, everyone? And today, I am so happy and excited. It's weekend. Today is Thursday. So you can enjoy your time and something else. So Eid al-Fitr is very close. Few days and we're gonna celebrate it. So I wish you all a happy Eid. So everyone, let's read the day and date. As you can see, the day is Thursday and the date is May 21, 2020, okay? So everyone, let's read the title of the lesson, All About Time. So it means today we're going to revise what we have learned before about time. So I want you everyone to use your background knowledge and to remember the things that we have learned before about time. We have learned about time to the hour, time to the half hour, time to the quarter hour, what else everyone, I need your help, what else, time to the five minutes, and finally, a.m. and p.m., right, wow, so we learned a lot of things about time, so today, we will revise the previous skills that are related to telling time. Before starting our revision, let's do the mental math. So, let's say Afra had 13 cherries and Saif had 10 cherries and Yusuf had 10 cherries. How many cherries did they have all together? So, what we are going to do everyone is to use the strategies that we have learned before you need to underline and circle what do you know and what do you need to find and also plan what you are going to do are you are you going to minus or add subtract or add so what you are going to do is to mm -hmm, who's gonna help me so let's circle or let's underline first what do we know. So here, let's say Afra had 13 cherries and Saif had 10. Mm, Yusuf had 10 too. So when I say all together, it means I am going to add all these numbers. Okay, so 13 plus 10 plus 10 okay so I need your help so 3 plus 0 equal 3 and there is another 0 so what we're going to write over here is number 3 and 1 plus 1 plus 1 3 well done so everyone, I want you to pay attention that when you uh, add the numbers, put them uh, nicely, line them, line the numbers up in a good way that will help you to add easily. And here we go everyone, this is a problem and when we have a problem, we need to think about it everyone. So complete each sentence, right? Midnight or noon. So here you have two vocabulary words, okay, and you need to fill in the space or choose the correct word and write it over here. So the first one is midnight and the second one is noon. So at, I am usually asleep. Midnight or noon? I'm going to give you some time. Midnight or noon? Excellent! Midnight! So let's write midnight. Mid. 
Correct. Midnight. Okay, so question number two. At, I may be eating my lunch. So, do you eat your lunch? Midnight or noon? Noon time. Well done. You are excellent. And here we go, everyone. There are three videos. One video about time to the hour. And the second one about time to the half hour. And the last one is about time to the quarter hour. So everyone, watch these videos. And when you come back, we're going to revise these skills. So everyone, we're going to revise these skills. How to draw the hands to show time. How to write the time. How to skip count by fives to tell the time. And... You get to know how to do this because we have learned this in the previous lessons. Okay, here what we are going to do is to complete each sentence. Okay, so there is a missing word in each sentence and you need to fill it or you need to write it or let me say choose the correct word and add it to the sentence. So first of all, let's read the vocabulary words over here. Hour, half hour. Quarter hour, minute, a.m., p.m., digital, and finally, analog. So, question number one, the long hand on an analog clock is the space hand. So, everyone, we're talking about the long hand. As I said to you so far, on the analog clock there are two hands one of them short and the short is for the hours and one of them long and the long is for the minute well done so what we are going to do is to write minute over here look at the clock do you see the two hands over here short and long so what we're going to do over here is to write minute so let's write minute okay here we go okay and now question number two the short hand on an analog clock is the so the short hand is for the hours excellent and finally 15 minutes is a Who will help me look at the clock? Look at the clock over here. So, let me, okay, divide the analog clock into four quarters. So, look over here. From here to here, okay, as you can see, this is a quarter. From here to here, um, there are 15 minutes. So, 15 minutes is a quarter. Excellent. So, let's write it over here. Quarter hour. Quar. Sorry. Quarter hour. Thank you for helping. So everyone, let's continue. We still have question number four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so I need my analog clock because I am going to use it. Okay, so I'm going to add it here. Okay, so let's read question number four. 30 minutes is a... Who will help me? So look at the analog clock. And look at what I am going to do. I'm going to divide the clock into two halves. See? And before I move, do you see the minute over here? Yeah, how many minutes? Excellent. As you can see, 30 minutes. So I divided the clock into two halves. 
so 30 minutes okay let's say is half hour so let's write half hour excellent so now a clock that uses hands to show the time is an clock this is super easy because the analog clock uses hands to show the time so what i'm going to do is to write it over here a clock that uses hands to show the time is an analog clock okay now let's go to number six a clock that uses numbers to show the time is a okay who can help me okay this is everyone the the digital clock okay so the digital clock uses numbers only so what we're going to do is to write digital clock so let's write it okay i need your help so d okay i g i t a l so digital clock and here we go number seven the hours from noon to midnight are from noon noon 12 o'clock okay so the second part of the day what we're going to what we are going to write pm or am i'm going to give you some time to think correct well done it's pm excellent thank you for helping and the last one the hours from midnight midnight to noon are well done a m you did a great job okay everyone and if you want to solve these questions by yourself and practice more go to page 600 i'm gonna write the number of the page 631 open the page and you can solve these questions again and here we go everyone tell uh tell the time okay and write it so tell the time and write it so everyone let's go to the first one so there are some steps to follow when we read the time we need to look at the short one first the short one is the hour hand and then look at the long one and the long one is the or the minute hand okay so everyone as you can see here the short one points to number eight so we're going to write eight first okay so let me write over here okay here we go it's eight okay it's eight o'clock and if you look at the long one you can see or notice it's zero minutes so what we're going to do is to write zero minutes so it's eight o'clock let's go to number two so the short one okay remember we should read the, first, the the short one first so the short one points to number one so what you are going to do is to write number okay number one so everyone as you can see the short one points to number one and the long one okay is uh let's say at the beginning of the uh the clock because the uh or the long hand will move from here okay and it will travel all around the clock okay so it's let's say zero minutes okay the last one i'm gonna keep it for you okay you do it and i am sure you can do it because you are the best 
You are very smart and I am so proud of you. And here we go everyone. What you are going to do here is to read the time and then write it. Okay, so look at the first one over here. So, as you can see, the short one is between 9 and 10, right? And remember, you need to look at the short one first. So, it's between 9 and 10. It's going to number 10, but it's not 10 yet. So, the time will be, let me write, 9 or 10. Correct, 9. Excellent. The time will be 9. Okay. And let's go to the minutes. Look at the short one. No. We're going to look at the long one. For the minutes, we will look at the long one. So, if you look over here. So, everyone, as you can see. If the long one is pointing to number 6, it means 30 minutes. 30 minutes. So, it's 9 30 and we can write half past 9 excellent now let's move to number 2 so look at the short one it's between 5 and 6 but it's not 6 yet so we're going to write over here 5 ok and now it's easy so the long one is pointing to number 6 and it means how many minutes everyone 30 minutes so we're going to we're going to write over here 30 5 30 and it's half past 5 now you're going to do the last one by yourself and here we go everyone so you're going to read the time and then write it okay so look at the first one as you can see the short one is moving and it's between 11 and 12 but it's not 12 yet so directly we're gonna write 11 okay so it's 11 let's write 11 and then look at the long one the long one points to number three and if you look here you can see it's 15 minutes so we're gonna write 15 minutes now let's move to number two so as you can see the short one is between eight and nine right so it's not nine yet because it's going to nine but it's not ni it's not nine so we're gonna write eight okay and then look at the long one the long one points to number six so it means 30 minutes so you're gonna write 30 minutes so I'm gonna keep the last one try to do it get a piece of paper and some pencils and try to write the correct answer okay and this is our last thing for today so the question is how do I use until time we have learned in the previous lessons how to tell time and why do we use it, right? So I want you to brainstorm and think about the question. If you want, write your answers down on a piece of paper and then you can uh, send it to me, okay? And have a nice day. Bye everyone.